waiting for your treat. Why are you waiting for your treat? I think I fixed my microphone. Hello. How are you? Good morning. What is up? I'm at the campground. I'm not officially like working yet, but I'm in transition. That is our new morning, the walk that you saw. We will be doing that every morning over by the lake. The lake is literally, I don't know, sometimes you can't measure in video time, but it's just like three, four minute walk away. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. In your bed, babe. He loses his mind. There you go, baby. So this will be my second night at the campground. I stayed Saturday night. I stayed Sunday night. It's my third night at the campground. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday. And so I worked Sunday, Monday. I worked today at Walmart. I gave my two weeks notice. They were very kind. They were all actually really sad that I'm leaving, like the managers. My favorite manager, I don't know if she knows yet, unless one of the other managers told, told her, but she hasn't been in for two days. So I gave my two weeks notice. I have been here for three nights. Um, tomorrow, they give me my permanent site. This is not my permanent site. Can you get in your bed, babe? Bed? In your bed? They get my permanent site tomorrow, which is just like just up the hill a little. It's closer to the entrance, I guess, more suitable for the host, host position. Um, what else? That's really it, guys. I've just been, like, so grateful. I asked for something again. And I, I've asked before in the last few months for God Universe to bring me something more suitable for me and Bogey while I, you know, work on my YouTube and my other online stuff. And this is so perfect. Because as I said in the last video, I'm just really worried about the heat and having Bogey in the van. Um, I do have a generator. I do have um, onboard air conditioning. I have the ceiling fan. Okay, this whole doing the milk thing didn't quite work out yesterday and it spilled so give me a second so let's do this I am not left-handed people so what was my point damn it I hate being menopausal head I have onboard air conditioning that runs on a generator. I would have no way of knowing if the generator shuts off, which could happen. And I'm not in the position to buy the software that would monitor that. I think it's called Waggle. There's a software that would monitor that and alert my phone if the temperature were to drop. And I think there's also like a camera involved where I can check and see him and all that. But I don't, I can't do that right now. And then you have to pay for like a monthly service with Verizon. So it's like paying for another phone. I had been asking the universe to either point me in the right direction because I have a few online ideas, but online ideas don't make money right away I need like a steady income and so I had asked about other things 
and periodically I would just ask God to bring me a job. So if you saw the last video, God brought me a job. Universe, God. I used them intermittently. But at that time, I was having a conversation with God. And the same day he brought me this job. I will have, and I said this in the other video, I'll have a permanent site with full hookup. I can plug into uh, electric, I'll have water, I'll have a sewer on-site dump station. Um, so on those days that I'm working over the summer and it's really hot, I'm plugged into the electric and I don't have to worry about the air conditioner shutting off. It's not going to shut off. Um, plus I'm right here on-site and I can check on bogey, you know, every hour if I want to. Um, Plus the job I think I'm doing, it's not going to take up, it's not going to be the whole day. Um, so I will mostly be with Bogey on my work days here on site. And when I'm not doing hostess work or host work, I'll be working on my YouTube stuff or any other online income that I've been thinking about that I'd like to work on. So this is going to be much more ideal. I've actually, I mentioned also on the last video that I woke up with no anxiety, which I had been waking up with anxiety for a few, for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And it seemed to be getting a little worse, a little worse. And I wasn't sure what it was. Oh my God, there's not enough water. I wasn't sure what it was. I have to go get more water. You guys, I have to tell you something. Bogey is not an outside dog. He insists on going back inside the van to go lay down when I'm outside. And when he does come out here, he clings to me. Which, I don't know, bad thing, good thing. I told him this morning to try to be an outside dog. So I'm kind of like making him be on his bed and at least enjoy nature a little. He does love going for walks down by the water. He's concentrating. He must see something. I don't know. That's my update today. I don't move my site till tomorrow, and I'm really excited. After the initial shock of being excited about this job, then I was having, like, buyer's remorse. Because that means all my routines are now going to change. And although any smart person can see that establishing a routine here is way better, I still had that moment of all the regular things I've done to make myself feel at home here are going to change, which is silly because I'm, I'm getting a permanent site, which will actually be a home. And even though I had a spot to park in every night, which was my same spot at my same commercial business, because of the kind, kind business owner. So that kind of felt like home every night. But I wouldn't hang out there during the day. Like, I wouldn't park there during the day. So I really only had a nighttime home. And here I have a home all day long. <laughs> so, I don't know. I had that, like I said, moment of buyer's remorse. What are you doing, bub? You have to lay down in your bed, not stand up in your bed. What is your issue? Be an outside dog. Bogey. Bogey. Be an outside dog. Bogey.
Bodhi. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're so cute. Buyer's remorse. So I had to talk with a friend. And sometimes when you talk out loud, you you realize how silly you sound. I literally curled my hair this morning. I don't know why. Because I put makeup on to go for a walk. Oh, just because I wanted to take my... I'm trying to figure out my morning routine. And yesterday, my morning routine was get up, brush my teeth, put my lenses in, feed the dog, make the bed while the dog is off the bed. And then we went for a walk. But then by the time I got back, not that it was long, I was just confused on what to do. Like I didn't know what to do next. This is what I mean. Routines. So, obviously coffee. But do I get dressed first? No. I mean, I am dressed. I'm just, you know, I'll just, I'm dressed. <laughs> but not in, like, dressing clothes. And so I made the coffee. So I didn't have my makeup on or my hair done or or clothes on, <laughs> regular clothes, street clothes. So today I was like, all right, let me do half of what I would normally do. I'll just do my hair, do my makeup, go for a walk, and then all I have to do is get dressed and drink coffee. So I'm just trying to figure out what my morning routine is, and then I don't know what my morning routine is when I start work here, and I don't even know when I would, part of the day I'd be working because part of the job besides hosting also includes cleaning bathrooms and cleaning sites. Uh, you know, when people check out, make sure the sites are clean, no debris left, stuff like that. It's a posing week. So one week I'll be checking people in delivering ice and wood to their sites. Opposite week, I will be cleaning bathrooms and cleaning sites. And technically, cleaning sites really doesn't happen until after checkout, afternoon time. This is really gorgeous. It's beautiful. I am so blessed. I keep asking, and he keeps delivering. So... You know, if this is how I start my van life, this is how I start my van life. Like, I know my travel is coming. I'm okay with this. This is, this is okay. And I'm still in a beautiful part of Georgia. It's still cool here at night. I'll be working under the trees. I'm not going to be working. I'll be working outside, but I'll be, you know, under the trees. It'll be great. The pay, I don't even know what I'm getting paid. She mentioned a number, a range of a number. I hope it's on that higher end of the range, but I don't even care because the safety and comfort of Bogey is more important. So what could happen with that is I could just make up, make up the difference with doing merchandiser because um, I know I can make money with that. I'm really excited about this, so I just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys and give you a little piece of my morning and let you know what's coming up, which will be, like I said, I gave my two weeks. I'll be moving to the new site tomorrow sometime. And, um, oh, look, he's comfy in his bed. Hold, hold, please. Look at him. Oh, you're such a good boy. It seems like my neighbors are all still sleeping as well have a neighbor to the right of me and a neighbor behind me. When I got here last night, I've been having little, like, problems, which I don't even want to talk about because when you talk about them, they get bigger. There's just, like, little van things. And I should talk about them because it's part of my van life. So, all right, when I came to the campground last night in the pitch black, um, I went to go plug in and the van would not take the electric or whatever. Like I could hear it click and I came in to see cause then the microwave light would go on. 
but it was on and then it shut off. And I was like, ugh. So I didn't know if I did something wrong or if I hurt the, the cord or something. So then I, I kept like troubleshooting and making sure the breakers were on and checking the breakers on the actual box that I plug into. And then I was close to giving up and like, okay. Because if you've watched some of my videos, I talk about how smooth everything goes. And not that this is a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal if I can't get electric in the van. Like, and this is the first time really these last couple of days I'm using it because I've not gone to, I've camped once in the van. I've camped once in the van and I did primitive camping, a primitive camping spot because I was like, I don't know, I need electric. But um, anyway, finally... I decided because I plugged into the 30 amp outlets. I did have a 50 amp adapter and there's a 50 amp outlet. So I was like, all right, let me just try switching the outlet. So I plugged the 30 amp into the adapter thingy and then plugged it into the 50 amp outlet and voila, I had power. So it wasn't me at all. It was the outlet. So I have to let them know about that. But I was like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm doing, and I just kind of guessed my way to how to resolve that. And I did, and I was proud of myself. Kind of did a happy dance. So when in doubt, you know, keep trying. Took me a minute, but... Uh, anyway. I think I'm going to end this video here. It's just going to be a short one. Just wanted to check in with you guys. And I'm like so happy I got the mic to work. It's like I broke the piece that goes into the phone. Well, I thought I broke it, but it bent back into place. And then I tested it and we're good. Anyway, guys, today I go to work. Um, and tomorrow I don't. Tomorrow I'm hanging out with a friend. I think the earlier part of the day. So yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. So today I'm going to work. Uh, today will be my the ending of my first week's notice. It was two weeks notice, so I just got to go to work next week. Just three days. And then I'll be ready to work here. And if she needs me to work, like these coming days that I'm off or I don't know if there's going to be some obviously there must be some sort of training I know she said she's going to be, give me a training manual the manager um, yesterday I filled out the uh, the criminal check criminal background check so yeah so again yeah, today, today I go to work, tomorrow I'm off, and Thursday, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Then I work three days, and then I'm done at Walmart. So, thank you for hanging out, and if you made it this far, it wasn't a super exciting video, it was just more of a check-in video, and a um, little coffee coffee. You know how I like my coffee. A little Bustalo, a little heavy cream, a little vanilla, and lots of love. Guys, I will see you in the next one.